Hi, I want to spend a little bit of time um, explaining how um, WinHex works and how you jump from um, one attribute to the next. I mentioned that in the lecture notes that um, each MFT record is comprised of um, different attributes that define different things about the file, such as um, name of the file, the the size of the file, um, the uh, attributes of the file, such as um, creation time, modification time, and in some cases, the actual data in the file. But I wanted to show how to jump in back and forth between the attributes. And the best way to do it um, is to start at the beginning um, for each one. So I mentioned before that to get to an MFT record for a file, you need to uh, right click on the file in WinHex, then go to navigation, seek file record. And then once you're in the file record, um, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to what's called um, offset 0x14. And again, I'm reading from the book on page 5-13. 0x14 indicates where the first attribute starts, which is attribute 10. Um, to get to attribute 1-4 in here, we go down one row, that's one, so this is, you know, um, attribute, this is uh, field 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, so this would be 1, 0, and then from here we'd go 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, and 1, 4, and we'd be looking at a value of 38. Um, which basically is telling us that's how long the header is, the beginning of the MFT record. So in order to get to the next thing, which is attribute 10, we would go uh, count 38 hex um, from the beginning of the MFT record. So it would be 1, 2, 3, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's 38. That's attribute 10. Its value is 10. That's telling us we're on attribute 10. To get to the next attribute, which is 30, which is where the file name is stored, according to the book, it says the um, size of the attribute is defined as offsets 0x04 and 0x05 from the beginning of attribute 10. So if we count, if you go to the beginning of attribute 10 and then count over to 0, 4, and 0, 5, we do that by going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, this is where we need to think about how we're going to read these two values. Um, and the way you read um, values in WinHex is from right to left because of the uh, format of the, the little Indian um, of the format of the, the um, the way the, the values are defined. So the way you read that is this is 0, 0, and this is 60. So this means we go to value 60 from the beginning of attribute 10 in order to get to attribute the next attribute, which is 30. So if we count down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we now get to attribute 30. Attribute 30 is where the file name is defined. Now the book says that in some cases there are two 30 at attribute 30s if it's a file name that has more than eight characters. So here, this is the, um, if you look at the name of the file, it's definitely more than eight characters. So this is gonna have two attribute 30s. So the first attribute 30, uh, the length of it is defined in the book as, um, let's see, offset zero, four and zero, five from the beginning of attribute 30. So one, two, three, four. 78. So if we go to 78 from 30, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, go down a little further here, 8. There's the beginning of the second attribute, 30. And then there, to go to um, the next attribute, we need to figure out how long this one is. Now this one, the book says that, this is on the next page, that the uh, size of attribute 30 is offset 0, 4, and 0, 5 for the beginning of it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 88. 
So we're going 88 from this value. So let me scroll down a bit here, have it all on the screen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if we count eight over more, or eight, eight, we get to this. There's the beginning of attribute 40. Now, attribute 40, um, it says that um, the size of it is defined by offsets 0, 4, and 0, 5. So again, zero, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 28. 28 from here should bring us to the beginning of attribute 80. 1, 2, bang. So there is the beginning of attribute 80. So this is how we jumped through the MFT record. Now what's interesting about this one, um, you can see that you don't actually see the value of, of the data inside of this file in this. This should be the data. The reason you don't see the data is because a file is bigger than, I think, if it's bigger than 512 bytes, um, you won't see the actual data in the MFT record. What you're going to see is information about where the data lives. Um, the book explains all that, but that's why you're not seeing the actual data here. Um, but if we look, try to find a file that's smaller than 512, I don't believe I have one here readily available, then you would see in here uh, the actual data that makes up the file. You would see the actual code so whatever text the file contained the word hello you would see actually the hexadecimal representation of the word hello and then you would see the text hello in here so hope that's helped that's how you jump through the attributes and um it also does also demonstrate how you find the values inside of an attribute um, and that's recorded on another video that you can watch that shows you how to jump inside of an attribute to different parts of it. So that's what I have uh, for right now.